everyone, this is Paul Gale from paulgalenetwork.com and thank you for joining me today for Video Game News. It is August 25th, 2020 and these are the top stories of the day. And yes, I am wearing my karate gi for good reason. One, I just finished teaching a class and two, as it happens to be, our first news story of the day is that we're getting a Cobra Kai video game in a couple of months. It's in development for Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, and PlayStation 4. This is a look at the first trailer, and the first time I'm seeing the footage is right now live with you, so let's check it out, and thank you IGN for the video. Here we go. Three, focus. The Cobra Kai YouTube series is really good. If you haven't checked it out, definitely worth it. Now it's on a bigger platform in terms of how many people are signed up for streaming, and that's on Netflix, so I definitely recommend it. All right, so it's like a... That's cool. It's a Streets of Rage Final Fight-like game taking place on school campus in the mall. Told from two sides, so that's kind of cool. Looks like we'll be able to play as Miyagi Do Karate. Ah, Chris looks kind of cool. <laughs> play as Daniel LaRusso's dojo folks. Play as Cobra Kai. Well, that could be fun. Hopefully the game has hard hits, like hits that feel impactful, you know? I don't know how far along this build is, but probably close to final release. August 28th coming to Netflix, seasons one and two. October 27th, just a couple of months away, uh, is when the game is available. I say I don't know exactly how long into development this is based on the trailer, but I imagined you know close to the end because not to say it looked rough, but it didn't look like a triple A kind of budget title, nor does it have to be, but uh, I don't know if the hits felt that impactful, but hopefully the action is speedy, the hit detection is smooth, and there is good impact for each time you do land a strike on an opponent. Uh, I think it's kind of cool. Build up your dojos, play as characters from the show, play in locales from the last two seasons. It could be a fun game. I'm looking forward to it. I'll check it out. Let you know my impressions later on. Uh, let's see, from here, getting a physical release, that's nice. And in particular, on the Xbox One version, you can see that there's a definition right there between Xbox One and Xbox Series X saying that, hey, this is compatible on both. And of course, the Nintendo Switch and PlayStation 4 versions as such, uh, looks pretty cool. You know, that's not a bad, not a bad trailer and kind of appropriate because I just finished teaching my class today. So, cool. Next up in news, moving on, is more talks of the Nintendo Switch Plus or Nintendo Switch Pro, basically the more powerful Nintendo Switch model coming to us supposedly in 2021. Today, uh, Mr. Takashi Mochizuki from Bloomberg has reported that Nintendo behind the scenes is looking at including more computing power and even 4K definition graphics on this new Nintendo Switch model coming out next year. You know, the more sources that are coming out that are claiming this to be true definitely lead some more likelihood that this is real. And, you know, Nintendo doesn't necessarily want to reveal it officially too soon and jeopardize sales of the existing Nintendo Switch and Nintendo Switch Lite when people could look at it and say, ah, if I just wait a few more months, I could get this more superior version. But you also don't want to betray fans by you know, announcing such a huge thing after the holidays, 
like a month before this thing would come out. Like if this thing would hypothetically come out in March and they released, they announced it in February that it's coming out, I don't know if that would be the best move as far as public interest is, in, is concerned because you'd have a lot of people that would have purchased a Nintendo Switch or a Nintendo Switch Lite for the holidays, even after, you know, holiday season come January, beating that or, you know, not making it during the rush, but making it afterwards. And then a month later, finding out in one more month is this new version that they could have waited for. It's a very fine balance between being a company that keeps good ties with fans, pleases the market, has good, you know, relations, is also profitable. There's a lot to it. So I don't know if I'd necessarily expect Nintendo to release news of this Nintendo Switch Plus officially come this Friday's Nintendo Direct, if this Direct happens this Friday, right? It might be a little too soon, but I think it would be fair if by October or early November to get some ground going, be big in the news, be fair for consumers that Nintendo announces, hey, come March, we're going to have the Nintendo Switch Plus. That is risky business because you could look at it and say that might cut into holiday sales, but there's a lot of people that are working at Nintendo to make these good decisions and find out the best way, the best time to announce them because you want to have as many holiday Nintendo Switch and Nintendo Switch Lite consoles out there on the market. You want to release a couple of big games to make it, you know, worthy, uh, a justifiable reason to buy a Nintendo Switch and a Breath of the Wild 2 or a Super Mario 3D, 3D Anniversary Collection instead of a brand new PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X. Price will come into a factor, possible bundles, the likelihood that whatever Nintendo's big game is come this holiday season, probably better than anything at least at launch on the either platform, PS5 or Xbox Series X, possibly, most likely. But, you know... The announcement of a new platform is a tricky one. However, that does put Nintendo in a good position because like I said in yesterday's video, you're the talk of the town again. When the dust has settled a little bit from the crazy holiday shopping season, Nintendo right out there once again with the newest platform on the market. And it looks like, man, more computing power and potentially 4K high def graphics. And with yesterday's news, supposedly on the system itself, a 1080p screen. Will this thing have any exclusive games for it? Is it a Nintendo Switch 2? You know, without knowing how much more powerful it is, we don't know if it's worthy to be called a full successor or a mid-generational leap forward in this tech. If I had it my way, Four years is a good amount of time to make a considerably more powerful Nintendo Switch, like a Switch Plus, but I would rather have an official Nintendo Switch 2, like full-on successor, come out, you know, tail end of 2023, give more time to go by to increase the likelihood of the Nintendo Switch 2 being a much more beefy platform capable of running the vast majority of Xbox Series X, S, PS5 game, 5 games on this Nintendo Switch 2, albeit in a lower resolution, lower frame rate, slightly less visual fidelity, but basically be competent, be capable of that. You know, I'm hungry for power. I'm hungry to see Zelda, Star Fox, Mario, Donkey Kong, Metroid in the best way possible. But I would be okay with, at this point, four years into the Nintendo Switch life, it still feels like a very fun, very new console because there are certain games that I play and take from the TV into my handheld experience, and I'm just like, man, is this awesome having this type of game just chilling in my backyard by the fire pit, you know, playing Mortal Kombat 11 in handheld mode, and like, that's fun. So I guess I'm ready for... A beefier system that could still play all of the Nintendo Switch games, but 
for the sake of good business, not necessarily be a system that is the only place to go to play certain Nintendo games. And that's kind of the crazy thing that we don't know what to expect. But that's exciting nonetheless. I thought I would share it, talk a little bit more about it today because this thing is looking more and more likely and I'm very interested to hear what you all think in the comments. What do you hope Nintendo Switch Plus is? Do you hope it's a more powerful Switch? Do you want it to have some exclusive games on it or not? Do you want it to just be a Nintendo Switch 2 and just be a, a beast of a new machine? And forget about, you know, platform exclusivity and the fairness of it. I want a new Switch. I'm okay if Metro Prime 2 is, Metro Prime 4, I'm sorry, is only on this system. Give it to me. I want it now. Uh, let me know. And for that matter, let me know about Cobra Kai. Are you looking forward to it? Did you watch the first two seasons? If not, will you check them out now? And are you going to check out Cobra Kai 3? Because I'm looking forward to seeing what happens next. And last but not least is coming from Larry Erb, better known as Major Nelson, the following. So we're going to go right over. And the first thing that this is a look is, is this is my gamer tag. This is my console. At the is, new this dynamic background, background kind of crazy, which is a dy That's dynamic cool. background yeah. on the yeah, so Xbox Series project, X. Uh, that we kind of had an, an incubator and then I'm really happy to get out. Um, I'll pause it so I'm not talking completely over these two gentlemen, but I showed briefly before on Video Game News what the background looks like via still images, but here you could see some movement on the dashboard. Movement. Uh, it makes a huge difference That's new. Uh, when it's sitting there, it looks great, and especially uh, we were able to do some fun things where it will live update to your color, so if someone else signs in, it will change the user color, or if you go and change your user color yourself, um, it'll immediately update. It's got a clean it scroll, have to restart. familiar um, sounds, pick up where it left off, and uh, looks fast, it. snappy. Yeah, I can That's nice. Go in here and let's go in here to personalization, my colors and background. I'm not going to show the whole video. This is a 41 so minute video from the Xbox I podcast. Like orange, but so I like my orange. <laughs> um, it's kind of nice to give a little look, I think. Tell me why yet. And see what uh, to expect that you, you on the Xbox the brand right of but consoles let's talk about some of moving other, forward. Uh, areas that you focus on, because there, there's subtle differences. Like for instance, the 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 panels, the the squares, the tiles, they're now slightly rounded. There's a, there's a lot of stuff going on here, right? Yeah, because we have a lot of different teams that are involved in making everything on the phone, on PC, on console, um, and having a guiding principle, just pick up where it left off and uh, go from there. Yeah, I can actually go in here and let's go in here. My con ground, that's kind of crazy, isn't it? I was just picking a nice place to pause. I think it's a cool user interface, good background. I like the fact that it's got a little motion to it. I think that's fun. Um, nothing to blow your mind of, but it's, it's clean, it's sharp. You could feel that it is different, it is enhanced, and uh, should be pretty cool. Anyways, let me all know also, for that matter, speaking of keeping me posted on what you think of the news as it comes out, what do you think of this new user interface? Are you like, do you like this background, or could you go either way? It's kind of a short news day. Uh, we spent a good amount of time, once again, talking about the Nintendo Switch Plus rumors, speculation, this time coming from Bloomberg. But between that, a little bit of Cobra Kai, and this updated look at what the Xbox Series X background looks like. I think that was a fun day for video game news. Thank you for watching. Any kind of like, follow, subscribe appreciate is appreciated. So thanks again. This is Paul Gale from paulgalenetwork.com signing out. Hope you all have a good rest of the day. And I'll see you tomorrow for some more video game news. Bye.